talk about Salas Mana by George Eliot. Um, it's a pseudonym for a lady. Now, Salas Mana is one of George Eliot's favorite novels, combines humor, rich symbolism, and pointed social criticism to create an unsentimental but affectionate portrait of rural life. This novel is exemplary in structure, featuring intertwined major and minor plots. Likewise, various literary devices such as foreshadowing, flashback, symbolism, irony, and characterization are skillfully employed to make the text easily comprehended, comprehensible by its readers. Now, it's a story of a linen weaver, Salas, who disposed in friendship and love, thrown down by injustice and succumbing to despair, exiles himself from his birthplace and becomes an outcast on the periphery of the village of Reveloy, where his solitary life is consumed by his loom with his little treasure of gold which he passionately holds. So he's a recluse and is largely shunned by his neighbors. Uh, not until his treasure that had uh, that the treasure that had killed his sp spirits is stolen and a golden-haired foundling child whom he calls Epis enters his life. Things take a strong turn and we see him grow as a person as he learns to care for someone other than himself. So the moral of the allegory of the redemptive power of love, it is also a finely drawn picture of early 19th century England in the days when spinning wheels hummed busily in the farmhouses. So, uh, Elliot finished the novel in about six months and it was first published in 1861. She wrote the novel during the time period when she was researching and writing her much larger work, Ramola. The story may start as being a little rough on poor Salas, but it really does show that if people faithfully hew, their, hew to their principles and maintain a sound moral character, good things will certainly happen in the long run. Very